liturgy of evening prayer begins in the Book of Common Prayer on page 117. Page 117. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, Lord Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O Giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The Psalms appointed for this evening are Psalm 81, 82, 81 and 82, 8, 1, and 8, beginning on page 704 of the Book of Common Prayer, page 704. Sing with God, sing with joy to God our strength, and raise a loud shout to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the merry harp and the lyre. Blow the ram's horn at new moon, and at the full moon, the day of our feast. For this is a statue before Israel. The law of the God of Jacob. He laid it as a solemn charge upon Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I heard an unfamiliar voice saying, I eased his shoulder from the burden, his hands were set free from bearing the load. You called upon me in trouble, and I saved you. I answered you from the secret place of thunder, and tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and said, Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. And yet my people did not hear my voice. And Israel would not obey me. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their hearts, to follow their own devices. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I should soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their punishment would last forever. 
that Israel would I feed with finest wheat, and satisfy them with honey from the rock. God takes his stand in the council of heaven. He gives judgment in the midst of the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and show favor to the wicked? Save the weak and the orphan, defend the humble and needy, rescue the weak and the poor, deliver them from the power of the wicked. They do not know, neither do they understand, they go about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Now I say to you, you are gods, and all of you the children of the Most High. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals and fall like any prince. Arise, O God, and rule the earth, for you shall take all nations for your own. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson this evening is from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, on Mount Sinai, and if in spite of this you will not hearken to me, but walk contrary to me, then I will walk contrary to you in fury, and chastise you myself sevenfold for your sins. You shall eat the flesh of your sons, and you shall eat the flesh of your daughters, and I will destroy your high places and cut down your incense altars, and cast your dead bodies upon the dead bodies of your idols, and my soul will abhor you, and I will lay your cities waste, and will make your sanctuaries desolate, and I will not smell your pleasing odors, and I will devastate the land so that your enemies who settle in it shall be astonished at it. And I will scatter you among the nations, and I will unsheathe the sword after you, and your land shall be a desolation, and your cities shall be a waste. Then the land shall enjoy its Sabbaths as long as it lies desolate, while you are in your enemy's land. Then the land shall rest and enjoy its Sabbath. As long as it lies desolate, it shall have rest. The rest which it had not in your Sabbaths, when you dwelt upon it. And as for those of you that are left, I will send the faintless into their hearts in, in the lands of their enemies. The sound of a driven leaf shall put them to flight, and they shall flee as one flees from the sword. And they shall fall when none pursues. They shall stumble over one another, as if to escape a sword, though none pursues. And you shall have no power to stand before your enemies, and you shall perish among the nations, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And those of you that are left shall pine away in your enemies' lands because of their iniquity and also because of the iniquities of their fathers. They shall pine away like them. But 
if they confess their iniquity, and the iniquity of their fathers in their treachery, which they committed against me, and also in walking contrary to me, so that I walked contrary to them, and brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised heart is humbled, and they make amends for their iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, and I will remember my covenant with Isaac, and my covenant with Abraham, and I will remember the land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat, found on page 119 of the Book of Common Prayer, page 119. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has passed down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson is from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints who are also faithful in Christ Jesus, grace, to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He dusted us in love to be his sons and daughters through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. For he has made known to us in all wisdom and insight, the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, the Song of Simeon, page 120, page 120. Lord, you now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our final lesson is from the Gospel according to St. 
the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them a question. What do you think of the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. He said to them, How is it then that David, inspired by the Spirit, calls him Lord, saying, the Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, till I put thy enemies under thy feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how is he his son? And no one was able to answer him a word. Nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed is found on page 120, page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon us, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just work, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through the mercies of Christ Jesus our Savior. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that has passed, 
and humbly ask for your protection through the coming now. Bring us in safety to the morning now. Through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work, who watch, who weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep, and the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joy of us, and all for your love's sake. Amen. O mighty God, Father of all mercy, we are unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom you, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Oh, man.